Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video of prompt engineering course where in this video we'll be discussing about our last type of prompting which is I want you to act as prompting. So before starting this video, let me just demonstrate this lab. You'll be using prompts for a specific role to chat GPT to get outputs in a very effective way to get desired results. And we'll also be applying prompt engineering techniques to improve our output. So before we move further, let's just talk about what is basically I want you to act as prompting is. So this is actually a very unique name of this type of prompting, but uh, don't worry, we'll just find out what it basically is actually. So this framework represents a robust structure that can be applied universally uh, to any input and intended output. So you're selling, yeah, you know, you can apply this type of prompting to literally any uh, input and output. Doesn't matter what topic you want, what kind of situation in you are. So you can apply this anywhere you want. And the objective is to establish a standardized format that optimizes the framing for ChatGPT by giving it a specific role in order for it to get your work done quite efficiently. So basically, if you see the name, I want you to act as prompting. So by the name, you can get an idea. This is kind of some kind of a role reversal uh, type of prompting where you assign a role to chat GPT and you say, I need you to act as this person or according to this situation. And it's going to act like that and give you a specific output or some kind of advice or solution for that problem that you want ChatGPT to answer. All right. So just like every other type, this one also has a prompt formula. So obviously, uh, if you if you're assigning a task, a role to ChatGPT, you, you need to give uh, a little bit of information, first of all. So you say, I want you to act as so whatever uh, the role you want to give, you're going to enter that and you will say, I'll give you my then you'll give this some details about what do you want? what exactly is your situation and everything like that. You will then, then you'll assign a task like what you want ChatGPT to work on exactly. And then you'll also give information in a tone style, whatever your tone style is. Then you say the important details are, then you'll give a little bit of more information. And at the end, you'll say, refine your output as needed. All right, so this will be the example. So let's just not waste any time and let's just dive right into our chat GPT. All right, so I'm back here with my chat GPT open. So let's just type in my example right here in which basically I'm prompting chat GPT to uh, act as a virtual doctor and say, I'll describe my symptoms and you will provide me a diagnosis and treatment plan. So you should only reply with the explanation diagnosis and treatment plan and nothing else and then we have some details my important details are i have been experiencing a headache and dizziness for the last few days what would be the cause so yeah let's just enter and see what kind of output is going to give it to us all right so here we are it gave us the output as headache and dizziness can have various causes and it's important to consider multiple factors so from this if you can read all this you can get an idea like right here chat gpt is not working as some kind of an ai it's, it's, we have assigned it a role so right here is working as you can say a virtual doctor where it's explaining us things obviously saying if you are uh, experiencing some kind of uh, uh, dizziness or whatever we said you know in uh, in the above prompt so you say it could be some kind of a migraine problem and it told us about the symptoms so this is actually a very useful type of uh, technique or type you can say where you know you can assign a specific or you can say a very accurate role to chat GPT and it's gonna answer you or give an output to you in that way being that role that you have assigned it to it so yeah that will be it for uh today's video guys i hope you liked it if you do don't forget to watch more videos on our channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one see you bye bye